for this video, I will make sure that in less than 10 minutes, you'll be able to understand and remember the concept of stroke. If you want to know more about that, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nia Garvin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create nursing educational contents to help nursing students with their studies. If that's something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my videos two to three times in a week, so don't miss that out. Subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my new WhatsApp codes. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that would really help me know that you like to see more contents like this. With Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Hi mga nurses! Ngayong araw nga na ito, kagaya ng sinabi ko sa intro, ay pag-uusapan natin or I'm gonna give you the easiest way and the fastest way for you to remember the stroke pneumonics. This video is going to be very quick. Now, in order for me to do that, I will switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright everybody, welcome nga sa ating formal discussion ng iyong stroke. This is another um, entry sa ating nursing mnemonics and tips. If you haven't watched the other videos I created for, you know, nursing mnemonics and tips, uh, I'll be putting it on the description box, okay? You check that out because you're gonna learn a lot, okay? Now, for today, yes, we're gonna discuss about stroke. How, what is the easiest way for you to remember the concept? This is very short, very quick video for all of you guys. Handa ka na, oh, ito ng ating objectives. Now, we're gonna define stroke, the types of stroke, learn the manifestations of stroke, okay? Now, let's begin. Now, let's define stroke, okay? So, very quick definition lang. This is just an overview. If you want me to have a thorough discussion of this concept, let me know in the comment section below, okay? Now, stroke is a disease that affects the arteries leading to and within the brain. A stroke occurs when a blood vessel that carries oxygen and nutrients to the brain is either blocked by a clot or bursts or ruptures. When that happens, a part of the brain cannot get the blood. Kasi nga, ano bang meron sa blood natin, di ba? Oxygen. So, ano mayayari? The brain cells will die. Okay? Now, what are the types of stroke? Umpisahan natin dito. You have your ischemic stroke. Now, this is the most common type. It is usually caused by a blood clot that blocks or plugs a blood vessels in the brain. This keeps blood from flowing the brain. Blood clot po ang ischemic stroke, okay? Blood clot. Okay, within minutes, brain cells begin to die. Another cause is stenosis o yung narrowing yung ng ating blood vessels. Nagkaroon ng bara, ng pamumuo ng dugo at bumara ito sa ating uh, blood vessel sa ating brain. So, anong nangyari? Ischemic stroke. Bakit? Kasi hindi nakakadalo yung dugo. Papunta doon sa other parts of the brain. Anong nangyayari noon? The brain cells will die. Bakit nagkakaganon? Stenosis, narrowing of the artery. Okay. Next, we have your hemorrhagic stroke. Now, this happens when blood from artery begins bleeding into the brain. This happens when a weakened blood vessel bursts and bleeds into the surrounding brain. Pressure from the leak blood damages brain cells and as a result the damaged area is unable to function properly hemorrhagic you guys napakadaling tandaan hemorrhagic may pagdudugo hemorrhage mm -hmm. as shown in this picture you guys meron tayong ruptured blood vessels Kapag ang stroke is caused by pumutok na ugat sa ulo, ang tawag doon is hemorrhagic. Kapag ang stroke is caused by a blood clot, you call that ischemic stroke, okay? Next, we have your transient ischemic attack. Now, transient ischemic attack, mm, mukha malilito, didiscuss ko to, yung ating TIA, TIA, is often called as mini stroke, mini 
But it is really a major warning. Major warning. Bakit? Tia is temporary blockage of blood flow to the brain. Ito siya, oh. Yung tia, yung ating transient ischemic attack, madalas siyang um, winawalang bahala. Bakit? Kasi meron lang tayo dito blood clot formation in the middle ng ating mga artery. Ito mga blood clot na to, kapag hindi to naagapan, hindi siya na-treat properly, uh, pwedeng mag-progress yung ito, mag-progress yung condition ng pasyente into ating ischemic stroke. Now, let's talk about the manifestations of stroke. Now, for you to really uh, remember this concept, I want you to think of this slogan. Stroke kills. Yes, it does. So, be fast. Mm, kasi nga, sa stroke, ang kalaban mo ay oras. So, here is your nursing guide and nursing mnemonics and tips. Gusto kong tandaan mo ang mnemonics na fast. F stands for facial drooping. Now, what you're gonna do, you ask the patient to smile. Now, your question after the patient did that, does one side of the face droop? o yung tinatawag nating ganyan no yung para siyang naka alam mo yung nakikita mo sa Bell's palsy yung para nakangiwi now what is a a stands for arm weakness okay now what you're going to do you ask the patient to rise both arms now your question to yourself is that does one arm drift downward kasi that's a sign of weakness hindi niya kayang i-lift yung dalawa niyang kamay ano pang other sign mo you have your speech difficulties what you're gonna do nurses you ask the person to repeat a simple phrase pwedeng wag naman yung peter piper pick a pack of pickled pepper wag ganon ha hindi ganon masarap ang pandesal o ganon lang ang tanong mo ngayon sa self mo I, is there a slurred or strange sound? Yung parang hindi mo siya may Parang ganun, nagbabako-wako siya. Ngayon, if any of these signs ay nakita mo sa pasyente mo, what you're gonna do is remember the time. You need to call 911 immediately. Remember, stroke kills. Be fast. So, very important po na kapag na-observe mo tong any of the signs, you call 911 or your health line, okay? Key term lang, ha? Act fast because the quicker you act, the more of the person you save. Remember that the first three hours are critical for treatment of your stroke. Very critical. The moment you identify that your patient is having one of these symptoms, you call 911 immediately so that the patient can receive immediate medical attention. Okay? Now, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. I highly suggest for you to check out the other videos I created, other playlists regarding to nursing. Maraming maraming salamat po. We've been growing. Let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want us to do. Comment down below. Once again, thank you so much and you stay safe. Thank you so much you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Help me grow my channel. Now you're already here. Might as well subscribe. Hashtag Team Kuta. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. You put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out the other playlists I created for you be putting the links on the description box or simply click this icon button right here let's connect follow me on all my other social media accounts baby everything is at neil gabby i'll see you again